Hello everyone, this is Laman Chane of LS Web Apps and in today's video we're going to be creating and making use of for each loops. So from previous videos we have been using just for loops and while loops and do while loops but um, for each it behaves pretty much like those but with a special syntax and you use them with arrays. Okay, So we haven't reached arrays yet um, so feel free to skip ahead and go and watch the arrays video um, or you can just follow along and go back and forth based on how you feel best that you will understand them. Okay, so let's create a simple array first. So we'll say my array and um, or let's just say colors. Okay, so we'll use the shorthand notation here, which is the um, two square brackets. I will say blue. Next we'll say orange. Then we'll say um, violet. Okay, so if you want to loop over these, you can use the for loop like this and say i go to zero. And um, I won't complete it, but you know what I mean. But um, just if all you want to do is loop over an array of elements um, and you don't need the index, well, basically, you don't need the for loop then. The for each is made exactly for that. And all you need to do is just say, pass in the array as the first parameter. So say, C O L O Young U R S colors as color. So basically, what this is saying is loop over all these colors and on each occasion assign the value um, of each element to this variable here, color. Okay. So we're going to just echo that out quickly. So we'll say echo. We'll put a break tag there so it's on its own line. Let's combine that so we'll say color and then the dot sign okay so back in our browser let's refresh and see what we have and I refresh it says unexpected as and the reason for that is because I forgot to change this to for each since we are doing a for each another for loop so we have to change this to for each because a for loop doesn't know what the as keyword is so I'll just save that back again and go back to the browser and refresh. As you can see, it says blue, orange, and violet. Okay. So that's how you use a for each with just numbered arrays. And what do I mean by numbered arrays is if we happen to echo um, colors and we specify the index of two, that will give us the violet um, color over here. So I'll just comment this out in a bit and um, we'll get to that. So when I refresh, we should get violet because this is a numbered array. But what if we want to do a for each over an associative array? Okay. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say these arrays um, had keys as well to them. So um, let's say for blue it says first, that's the key and the value is um, blue. And for this one, let's say the key is second. And the value is um, orange for this one the key is third so right now these are not um, this is not a numbered array this is an associative array so what associative means is that um, the numbers are represented by strings as you can see here and in this case if you want to if you want to do a for each over this array over here you have to use a slightly special for each um, syntax okay so how you do that is see this part here the part that stores the temporary and um, value for each loop you just have to put a key there so say key and just do this so basically what this is saying is on each loop since these are pairs key value pairs so this is the key and this is the value so on each loop the key which is this one will be stored in this variable here in the for each loop and the value which is this one will be stored in color here okay so let's just echo that quickly so i'll just say um, key and i'll put a dot in between just to combine them and i'll put a um, space in between them as well dot okay so let's go back in our browser i'll just um, remove this because we don't need that anymore back in the browser refresh as you can see first blue second orange third violet okay so that's how you do use a for each loop for um, numbered arrays and also associative arrays and um, yeah that brings us to the end of this video and as usual if you liked it please rate comment subscribe 
and um, share the videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.